morning. It's not morning now. It's midday. So we're going to start the <laughs> midday meditation, y'all. But, it, you know, we could be like uh, Truman. He said good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Good rising, good afternoon, and good evening. Nice. Hi, everybody. Much love. You know what part of the world you're in, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so funny. Good day. Good, good day, mate. Good, good day, mate. mate. Good day, mate. They, they, they that one in Australia. So let's start a little bit different today because Jonathan, I saw you shuffling and you pulled some cards. Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. us what's in the cards for today's meditation. So in the cards today, we have pulled from a chakra, a chakra deck. Woo! Um, with the chakra affirmations. And um, so what I, what ended up being pulled was um, a root chakra saying that I am connected to mother earth and know the security of being grounded in reality in the moment. And that's very obviously crucial for everybody right now. And it kind of, it aligns with what we're going to do today with the divine inner child work. And then we got... Um, Show us the picture. Show us the picture. Oh, sorry. Don't trip. It is show the picture. <laughs> and then the next was for our throat chakra. And it was to the answers to all our my questions lie within me. And so this is really, you know, holding our truth and how we express. Right. Mm -hmm. And then for the next, the third, the Trinity is I move towards my vision with clarity and purpose. Oh, wow. Right. So th these are very, very, very crucial and highlighted and this really opens up the door for the divine inner child uh, work and journey we're, we're aligning for, huh? Yeah. Erica? Yeah. Is that what we're aligning for? Mm -hmm. That's what we're aligning for today. Okay, well, tell me about this. Was well, it inner child or the divine inner child? You know what? We're going to do the divine inner child. I mean, the inner child, we all have... I'm just going to be general. We all have issues with the inner child, and um, we're not here to um, to work specifically with that. There's a lot of people out there who are very qualified to work with uh, with people through inner child work. But what we can do is we can connect with that divine inner child, which is that source of the creator that's always within us. And that's the part that experiences joy and happiness. And we have, sometimes people lose touch with that aspect of who we are inside ourselves. And so the meditation we're going to do today is just going to reintroduce us to that aspect of ourself that is always there from the creator that we were born with. And so that's what we're going to do with our meditation today. Okay. So how how do you want to start? If you if if you're at home, maybe you want to take a moment to do we need to get some water, a candle, get comfortable, get, engaged, get yourself yeah. comfortable, yeah. whatever you need. Yeah. Whatever you need yeah. to cleanse. Whatever you need to to get yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. And some water. Stuff. Headphones if you have it. You know, just allows for cleaner sound, right? Yeah, clear sound. Yeah. And um, we're going to do it just a, a little bit differently because I'm going to do just a little bit of an active um, awareness with you before we go into the breathing and go into the meditation. But we'll yeah. just do a, a little uh, bringing our conscious awareness into different aspects of our heart and our throat and our third eye. So it's funny that those were the cards that were selected today without any without any communication so it's funny that that's the ones uh the divine source knows the yeah. divine source knows it's very cool 
because I've been working with oils to, for my throat and my third eye and also um, the connection wearing some lapis or blue stones for the throat mm -hmm. to help further integrate. And I can say this week, I've gotten up, moved around and still remembered my dream. You know, because usually I jump up and I forget my dreams and uh, I've been having a good time with some weird dreams these days. So, <laughs> so this is right on point for me as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm the best time to, it's the best, one of the greatest tools to use is your dreams. Right. With intention. Right. Really observing, you know, and it's, you know, drop down a line or two of how'd you feel in that dream? What, what, what came up? Mm -hmm. Right. One word, even just to be mindful and use that little mindfulness of, you know, going into that space goes such a far way for for nourishing of the mind, body, spirit. Are you wearing any stones for your throat? Am I? Yeah, I'm seeing some. I'm on, I'm on a on a moldavite. <laughs> so oh, a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and today I decided to wear gold, which I don't always wear gold, but I'm wearing gold and gold earrings and moldavite, gold, gold. moldavite, gold earrings. Yeah. I'm in I'm in gold and and uh, and. Um, Gee, what are the stones? I've got topaz, topaz on. Um, so, mm. as I make more jewelry and start sporting our oils, I'm gonna start showing a little more of these stones. Okay, so that's okay. kind of a future disclaimer because I'm about to get busy with all these stones I got, everything I brought back from Egypt. So exciting! So I think we gave everyone enough time to get ready if they were getting ready grabbing their stuff. And if you're on YouTube, you can just press pause, but we're about to get this thing on the road. Mm -hmm. So um, Jonathan used the word mindfulness. And so what we're going to do is just do a little bit of an exercise to bring our awareness and, and be mindful of different aspects of our anatomy that we don't always realize um, how we bring our consciousness into different parts of us. So if you want to close your eyes and you're going to touch the area of your third eye, but between your, your eyebrows on your forehead, you can tap it there. And um, this is that area that quite often we, we think from and we see it um, as, you know, where we see our consciousness is in that area there. And um, you can sometimes, that's how we envision things. And this is where we're always in our head. So bring your awareness to there. You can tap there. And um, you, can, you, you can almost, you can feel it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just move back from that spot, move back towards the middle of your head, uh, the middle of your brain a little bit. And just feel yourself just moving your awareness a little bit back into your head. And um, this would be the seat of the third eye. And just notice how you feel compared to what you did before. And so what you can do is just bring your awareness closer just to the top of your forehead. Notice how that feels. And now bring it back just a little bit more towards the center of your head. Notice how you may feel um, a, just a different sense. It, 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 there's no right or wrong. It's just an observation of how you feel. And now from that place, that, that awareness in the more in the center of your head, you're gonna go down, it's like moving down an elevator, <laughs> bringing your awareness to your throat. And just between your neck and, and uh, the clavicle there, that space there, bring your awareness to that spot. And this is our throat chakra area. This is where we speak from. And just notice what how you feel when you bring your awareness to that space. 
How does it feel when you have your awareness in that space? And now from that throat area, bring it back up, bringing it back to that third eye space in the middle of your head and notice the difference from your awareness in your head, bring it back down to the awareness in your heart, in your throat. And now from the throat, you can tap at the middle of your chest and bring your awareness down to your heart. When you bring your awareness to your heart, it's a more rounded feeling. You're feeling more who you are in this heart space. Just breathe in and just notice how you feel with your awareness in your heart. And now you're gonna bring your awareness from your heart, bringing it back up through the throat and back to the third eye area. And how does that feel? And bring your awareness back down through the throat and back into the heart space. And Jonathan, you can start us off with some mindfulness breathing. Just take a moment, settle your breath. Take four or five deep breaths. And each breath you sink deeper and deeper within the heart space. In this wave of your breath, inhale and exhale, the waves grow larger and larger. The deep relaxation settles deeper within each cell of your body. The mind becomes still at ease. Bring your awareness now. We were in the eye, the throat, and the heart. We're going to bring an inhale of three into the heart space. And we're going to pause at the end and just allow that awareness to drop down to your feet and pa pausing for six here. Now exhale for nine, allow it to just flow up the body like a wave, like what we have been doing for the past weeks. Now let it flow up to your third eye and just pause here and observe how that breath, how that journey just felt. Now inhale for three at your third eye. Pause. Now let that pause just bring your awareness down the front of your chest, your abdominal, your solar plex, your sacral, and down to your root, and exhale. Allow it to just flow up your spine to your third eye. Now pause here, observe. Now inhale for three. And we're gonna just slay, pause for nine and just let it deepen and slide the 
the elevator to flow down the front of your body and relaxing deeper and deeper. Just feeling, allow it to settle to your heart. And then this space, we exhale for six of just presence and observing and feeling colors, gold, emerald green, iridescence, white, whatever you can feel resonates for you. Just hold that pause and just be in this space, observe. Now take a nice deep cleansing, observing breath into the heart space and just allow your awareness to flow on the exhale. There's no time on your own pace where it needs to be or go to deepen the relaxation, to deepen this connection. And holding gratitude for this nourishment and wherever you have landed in this last breath, in this moment, we just stir our awareness clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever feels right for you in this moment. Just observe. You may feel it, you may not, but just see it or read it like it's in a book. And with this intention, the flow will be. This is a nourishing a massage of the consciousness to this space to deepen, to be in this presence of this divine inner child journey. We are grateful. opening for Terry to allow us to enjoy this journey of communion. And with that, <clears throat> just going to ask you to bring your awareness back to your heart from wherever you landed. Just you can touch the center of your chest just to bring your consciousness back into that heart space. And just imagine, we've talked about imagination before, either imagine, visualize, intend, that you're going to see the tiny golden light in the center of your heart. And as you come closer to that golden light, you see that it's a door. The light is coming in from underneath the door. And you have the combination, the key to open this door. And with our intention, we are going to connect to our divine part, that divine inner child that has always been part of us from the very part, beginning of our creation. And we open the door and we're bounded by this beautiful golden light. And before us is a set of golden, a, a golden staircase. You might see it as circular. It might be grand. It can be whatever it is for you. But we're going to start to move down the stairs this golden stairway. And I'm just going to count down from 10, nine, moving down the stairs, eight, seven, 
Okay, as you start to move down the stairs, the stairs, the light is getting brighter. Six. Five. Four. Three. And two. And now we step onto the bottom of the staircase into this golden light. And we see a beautiful figure coming towards us, just radiating this beautiful golden light. And as it comes closer, we see it as a divine child. This is our divine child. Your divine inner soul. This is that aspect of us that belongs to the creative source and dwells within us. And they welcome you. And you immediately feel the connection. And you embrace this divine child. And it awakens within you those aspects of joy, of happiness. They invite you to join them as you walk into a beautiful garden. And they ask you, this divine inner child asks you, invites you, to play with them. They ask you if you remember what it's like to be that child. Just the freedom of expressing your joy, of the laughter. And as you agree you may run, you may swing, you may play on a teeter-totter, whatever. Just spend a few moments playing and feeling the joy of that beautiful being that resides within you. The laughter, the lightness. Let it wash through you. Releasing any burdens we may carry. The divine inner child invites you just to release them and let them go. Listen to the softness of the laughter, the giggles, the joy of just being. Now your divine inner child takes you by the hand and you walk now with a skip in your feet, your step, 
to start to move back where we came in. And this divine child looks up at you and says, remember who you are. All the burdens are just there to be dissolved. Remember to come back within your heart space to this divine child. They're always there waiting for you. And you start to make your way back up the staircase, the golden staircase, moving up the steps. And as you return up the staircase, you turn back and the child is waving at you reminding you to return any time just to feel this freedom this joy that's always within you and as you reach the top you see that the door is in front of you and you walk back through the door bringing your awareness back through your heart and just seeing that that golden light is always there within your heart space and bringing your awareness back into your body and just breathing through this space in your heart Allowing that energy of that divine child to settle within you, within each breath. Feeling it flow through you. As the heart pumps out the blood, but it's now filled with this golden joy. And bringing that awareness back up through the throat. And knowing that we speak from the heart. And from the throat, bringing it up to the, to the third eye. Knowing that we can connect the universal consciousness. And just let your body settle now. Let your awareness settle to where it feels most appropriate. Just breathing in now for three. Hold and release. And one more time. Just finding where you feel most comfortable for your center of consciousness. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And welcome back.
when those chimes come out, I'm gone. <laughs> Did like, you fall asleep? I think so. I know I'm not sure. I have to think about what just happened, but <laughs> but you were using them. You were using the soundtrack to go to sleep right before. Mm -hmm. right? You're just you like training yourself to. So now you have to try to find the balance. Yeah. Body asleep. Mind away. Oh, when on. she says, when she says, come back to you, I'm like, oh, okay, come back. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> but um, I noticed like, okay, because you went from the eye to the throat and then from the throat to the heart. I noticed that I had to like actually adjust myself. You said, oh, you're going to feel the fullness. And I was like, okay, I feel it. Like I had to actually move my chest and expand when you said that. But um, it, it's a really little nice little exercise to bring your awareness to you know head throat heart just go back and forth and notice how you feel and you know doing it you just touch those areas and when you touch it you bring your awareness there so it's it's um, um a lot of times we live in our head and we're not even in our third eye we're somewhere about here and then it's just like you're all over the place but, you know, if you bring our awareness back into here, then we're really, that really helps to ground us. And we can think better. We think with our heart rather than all the stuff that's going on here. Boy, what a different feeling when you think with your heart instead of your mind. Yeah. Yeah. And then we realize that within our heart, we have, we have those things. That's when we come home is that's where that divine child dwells. You know, that's where we can find that joy. And so it's, it's a, it's a, it's nice to bring yourself back into that space. I would love for people when they watch this after it's over and wrapped up that you write in the comments, anything that you notice, like, did you notice your breathing change when she shifted? Did you, you know, did you have any cool visuals? Did you pass out? <laughs> That's always, you know, we, I think there's something wrong when that happens it isn't because we're still our hearing is on so even though you may not remember the words but you certainly your body remembers them and you were taking it to that place yeah mm -hmm. you know I, yeah how did how did the, the stirring feel when you were in that space where you ended up landing maybe yeah Let's see how many people landed in say you know, their solar plexus or their heart chakra or sacral or, you know, it'd be interesting. Yeah, or kidneys. Or, mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And did you have any other words to share? No, I, I, I will just share this is like, just take the opportunity just to go drop into that heart space and just imagine yourself being happy, being with joy. And, you know, like, yes, we have so much heaviness around us. Go into that little retreat within yourself and just play with that inner child. If it's skipping stones on the brook or we're going on a swing or just fun little things that, that, just allow yourself to enjoy a few moments. Escape into your heart. Mm -hmm. Use the imagination. Use your imagination. Use your breath. Yeah. You know, really embody that moment. You know? it, it can be for two minutes. It can be for 20 minutes. It's just, it's that place of serenity for yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. And we all need that. We all need that very important these days as yeah. things unfold and evolve and more truths come out it's very important because what i got earlier in a in a download that is that we'll, we were part of the pillars there's the structure of of the whole collective that is thriving and to allow it to shift and, and to bounce back is how good is the hydraulics, those pillars of light, right? And everybody that is open to that, this energy also with all the solar flares and these excess um, nourishment of 
our evolution come in that it really takes us to be mindful and, and really to embrace our that divine child and just find that joy you know it could be you know exactly what terry was saying you know, maybe go skate on a pond mm -hmm. like you know just observe just have fun express yourself we had some visitors the nail don this girl she is so um beautiful inside and out and Adam over in Egypt, thank you for hanging out with us. Good to see you. Um, I think, what was I going to say? I forgot. Um, yeah, if you're really committed to anchoring in positivity and you're really committed to making this a positive ascension journey, you got to kind of step back from the chaos, not kind of, you have to, you have no choice but to step back from the chaos and, and the looking at what everyone else is doing and following every channel and trying to keep up with all the news. And that is my biggest thing. Like I said, uh, my trip allowed me to take a step back and walk in my own footsteps and be present in my own space, in my own home. And if we're going to anchor in this light, then yeah, you're going to have to take this, these meditations to a new level for you. You know, it might be incremental how you grow with meditation, but getting to this point where we can observe chaos and not absorb chaos and, you know, you know, we can't be peeping out of the windows, you know, and, and, and looking for all the drama. We actually have to look for the light. And I always notice when it when I pull back and start focusing on the things that I want to do to make the planet better, those are the times when I feel the best. When I start observing what everyone else is doing and or trying to keep up or think about, you know, comparing myself or anything like that, and it takes me out of myself, these are the things we can do to help us come back. And that. That, light, that light, that spark is in our heart. It's there. It's that divine spark is always there. It doesn't go out. It's just that we don't always connect with it. You know, it's there. So that's the one way that we can connect to the light is just dropping in to that space that, that's there. Just open it up. Look how easy it is to open up to that light. It's there. Right totally get results yeah. so we will leave you today we're at like 34 minutes i was like oh if we stop at 33 that'll be cool but <laughs> <laughs> and this is the results of the whole session oh i know i am becoming the best person i can be wow so there you go fun. and it's a golden light yeah you know you know just listen to yourself trust Good night. Good night. We went from midday to it's midnight now. Everything's over today. <laughs> That's it.